Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Happy Saturday. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. All right. Well, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're all doing well this morning. Uh, let's see. Uh, Coffee in the Word, where it's God's Word and a cup of joe. This morning, we're going to start off in Psalm 99. And then we have a reading in Deuteronomy, and then we're going to the Gospel of Luke. So let's get started. Uh, Psalm 99, and as always, may God bless the reading of His Word. So here we go. The Lord reigns. Let the peoples tremble. He sits enthroned upon the cherubim. Let the earth quake. The Lord is great in Zion. He is exalted over all the peoples. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Holy is He. The king in his might loves justice. You have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Moses and Aaron were among the priests. Samuel also was among those who called upon his name. They called to the Lord, and he answered them. In the pillar of the cloud he spoke to them. They kept his testimonies, and the statute that he gave them. Our Lord, our, O Lord our God, you answered them. You were, a forg you were a forgiving God to them, but an avenger of their wrongdoings. Exalt the Lord our God, and worship at his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Amen. God is holy. All right. The Old Testament lesson this morning, Deuteronomy chapter 9, verses 15 through 24. And here we go. So I turned and came down from the mountain, and the mountain was burning with fire, and the two tablets of the covenant were in my two hands. And I looked, and behold, you had sinned against the Lord your God. You had made yourselves a golden calf. You had turned aside quickly from the way that the Lord had commanded you. So I took hold of the two tablets and threw them out of my two hands and broke them before your eyes. Then I lay prostrate before the Lord as before, forty days and forty nights. I neither ate bread nor drank water because of all the sin that you had committed in doing what was evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. For I was afraid of the anger and the and hot displeasure that the Lord bore against you so that he was ready to destroy you. But the Lord listened to me that time also. And the Lord was so angry with Aaron that he was ready to destroy him. And I prayed for Aaron also at that time. Then I took the sinful thing, the calf that you had made, and burned it with fire and crushed it, grinding it very small until, until it was as fine as dust. Then I threw the dust of it into the brook that ran down from the mountain. At Tibera also, and at Massa, and at Kibroth Hatava, you provoked the Lord to wrath. And when the Lord sent you from Kadesh Barnea, saying, Go up and take possession of the land that I have given you, then you rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God, and did not believe him or obey his voice. You have been re rebellious against the Lord from that day that I knew you. Mm. Wow. All right. Uh, the gospel text this morning. The gospel of Luke chapter 10 verses 21 through 24. So here we go. In that same hour he rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, or who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then turning to the disciples, he said privately, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see, for I tell you that many prophets and kings desired to see what you see and did not see it, and to hear what you hear and did not hear it. And this is the word of the Lord. 
All right, we'll go to the Pray Now app and I'll read the prayer of the day. All right. Uh, let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you have given us grace to acknowledge the glory of the eterni eternal Trinity by the confession of true faith and to worship the, the unity and the power of the divine majesty. Keep us steadfast in this faith and defend us from all adversaries, adversities. Uh, for you, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, live and reign, one God, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> And as always, like to offer a special prayer for the people of Ukraine, and uh, just over there, it's not a. It just keeps getting worse, doesn't it? So, but anyway, God's in charge. So, uh, certainly lift those people up. So, with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So, y'all have an awesome day. So, be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee in the Word. God bless.